a tfwire.com video review. Hey, this is Matrix Prime at tfwire.com with my video review of the Transformers movie preview Optimus Prime figure. Now, as you can clearly see, we have the uh, figure here in its alternate mode. This is not called vehicle mode. This is not called asteroid mode. This is officially called entry mode, uh, though it is uh, modeled after a metallic asteroid. Now, the primary color in this mode is this light metallic blue. To go along with the blue, we have some silver, which is sprayed here on the side, the bottom, as well as the rear portions. If we look at the front, we also have some more silver around what can best be described as the windshield, I guess. Uh, down below that, we have some more silver appearing here on the faux grill. And next to the grill, we have some uh, uh, metallic yellow applied to the headlights there. And up here on top, uh, we have the Autobot symbol, which is, of course, painted red. And the windshield itself is painted a dark blue. Now, if we look at the front of the, of the figure in this mode here for a second, um, you can kind of see a face popping out of you. Uh, to me, it sort of looks like the Optimus Prime face. We have the eyes here, of course, and then we have the uh, uh, face plate here. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now, the only other color we have on this figure is black. Let me turn the figure back around here to the side. And as you can see, we have black here on these areas. Um, they sort of look like elongated wheels. I'm not quite sure... Uh, uh, what their purpose is on this figure. Um, I'm going to assume that if this figure actually transformed into a truck that these would be the placement on the wheels uh, in the robot mode, but again on this figure I'm not quite sure what they're for. If we want to see actual wheels we're going to have to flip the figure upside down here. And If we look here in the center of the figure we have uh, uh, two wheels here, just sort of in a V-shape, and up here on in the front in the center here we have a, a third wheel and what that allows us to do is uh, push the figure on a flat surface however if we push the figure and let go uh, you can see it really doesn't move all that well uh, that's because the wheels are kind of shitty but um, other than that the only other thing we have in this mode that I haven't talked about is the uh, flame which is jetting out the back of the figure here now, the flame is made up of this uh, translucent orange plastic and the tip of that has been painted gold and what I like about this is the way that it, it attaches to the figure. It sort of looks like the flame is just uh, floating there in midair, uh, which is a pretty cool effect. Uh, but overall, uh, this mode really isn't all that great. Um, I can't see kids having uh, too much uh, playtime with it. I think if they had a choice between this, a truck, or a jet, uh, that they would set this one aside and, and go with the truck or jet. But uh, So I'm probably going to give this, this mode a 6 out of 10. But with that said, I'll now show you the transformation to robot mode. And to start, I'm going to remove the flame here. Set that aside. Next, I'm going to take these panels here and flip them forward like so. Now I'm going to take the bottom portion here and fold it down. Next, I'm going to take these panels up here next to the uh, um, windshield and flip them down. Now I'm going to take the bottom portion here and rotate this entire section 180 degrees. Now if we look up here on the, uh, the side of this, we have uh, two pieces here, one on each, one on each side. And I can simply fold those forward. Now I'll take these, these will become the arms of course. I'll flip the entire section up here like, like this. And I'll take the arm up, get it down into position. forgot to mention, the gun for the robot mode is stored up here in this piece and it sort of uh, doesn't stay in there all that well as you as you saw it fell out but, um, next I'll take the legs here and go ahead and separate them I'll flip the feet up and rotate them forward do that to the other side as well so we now have the legs and uh, the arms uh, positioned correctly I'll go ahead and fold the, these side leg panels down here the only, the only other thing we have to do is uh, pop up the head and fold this back piece down here. Uh, now to pop up the head, uh, there's a little uh, black panel down here. I'm not sure how well you can see this in the review, but you have to flip this down. And you have to go up here to the top of the figure and flip this panel up. Next you just uh, raise the head up through there. Turn the head 180 degrees. Go to the back of the figure here, take this black panel flip that back up. Now take this entire back section and flip it down and then take the little panel here and fold that down. 
And we now have the movie preview Optimus Prime figure uh, in robot mode. Uh, now the color scheme is exactly the same as it was in alternate mode. The only the only new color we have in this figure is uh, or in this mode, excuse me, is red. And we have some red appearing up here on the shoulders. Uh, there's some red down here in the midsection of the figure, and we have some red on the knees here. Now as for articulation, we can rotate the head 360 degrees. Uh, the arms can uh, move here at the uh, shoulder, uh, but they're back. Uh, backwards movement here is uh, limited uh, by these side panels here which are jetting out the side of the figure here. The arms can uh, bend at the elbow, they can also raise up here at the shoulder. Uh, the hands can rotate back and forth. Uh, the waist can also uh, turn, but again movement is limited due to the fact that there's this big piece uh, hanging off the back of the figure here, but you can rotate it. As for the legs, uh, they're on a ball joint, so you can do pretty much anything with them. Uh, you can also uh, bend the legs here at the knee, and the feet are also on a ball joint, so they can pretty much move in any direction that you like. Uh, so that's pretty much it as far as articulation is concerned. Uh, now the figure does come with a weapon. Uh, here it is, and you saw it fall out during the transformation to robot mode. Now, for the weapon, you simply unfold this piece here, fold out this piece here, and then you take the flame and you simply insert it into the end of the gun like so. Now if we look at the, the gun here, it's got a big post, but if you look at the hand, the hand isn't a solid uh, block of plastic with a hole drilled through the center, it's an actual open hand. And you can just place the gun in either hand of course, and like, like that, and there we have the figure with its gun. Uh, now, because this piece is folded out on the top of the gun, um, it sort of limits the uh, the movement of raising and lowering the arm. So you can just fold that down like that, and you can fully raise the arm now with the gun in hand. Oop. And there we have Prime with his gun. Uh, now, overall, I really like the robot mode. Um, I liked it more than I thought I was going to. Um, it's much better than pictures I've seen on the internet. I'm probably going to give the robot mode um, a 9 out of 10. I was actually surprised uh, um, with all the articulation the figure had, uh, despite the fact that it's got these pieces hanging off the back of it here. I thought that it was going to be uh, much, more limited, much more limited in its movement, but I was quite surprised. Um, so I'm going to give the uh, entry mode a 6 out of 10. This mode, a 9 out of 10. Overall, probably an 8 out of 10. I would certainly uh, pick it up if you can find it.